or 2009 Super Spike champion in Australia, Josh Waters. Next weekend, off to the six hour to race with, well, the legend that is Sean Giles. You must be really excited about the event and having Giles here as not just a teammate, but the, the guy, bike, guy you're sharing a bike with. Yeah, like Sean's uh, the most you know, uh, successful rider in Australia that's never won a world championship. So he's been a hero of mine. I remember when I was a little kid, you know, first starting off in road racing, standing outside of his pit and looking at him. Having him ignore you? Yeah, I know he was always really <laughs> nice, but. You know, and now I get to share the bike with him, so it's unbelievable. But next weekend is going to be something really different. I've never done anything like this, so um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Well, Phil Tain said he chose the pairings, that is to say the guys who are going to ride together, based on the fact that you know you like the same thing in a bike, you're in similar height and weight. That must be a relief knowing you're not going to have to go and ride a bike that's completely foreign. Yeah, so that that's where I think we're extremely lucky, is I uh, you know, teammate to Giles. He, this is my fourth year with the team and second year on the Superbike. So we both run similar settings. Uh, obviously, he's a little bit heavier, but, um, you know, we'll meet halfway. But there's things on the bike. I could ride his bike. They could put my fairings on his bike, and I wouldn't know. Um, <laughs> you know, that's being honest. So I really look forward to next weekend. Now, Herfoss has got a big mouth on him, as everybody knows. He's talking up the chances of the Supersport Nowhere. bike on the basis that... Tires will be, it'll be easier on tires, and he's actually got a bigger fuel tank as well. So he doesn't necessarily have to be uh, right up there to know that he'll blow past you down the straight when you're in the pits. Uh, he's an arch rival, so I'm going to uh, fill his tank full of water just to help <laughs> him out. No, nah, it's going to be, um, it's going to be fantastic. And they're going to be higher up than a lot of people think. So, um, you know, hopefully, I'll, you know, myself and Giles, he beat. Well, you'll never brothers. you'll never hear from it if uh, if Brody yeah. gives you a touch up at the six hour, will you? Yeah, I'll, like uh, that's the thing. Being, you know, we train together, me and Brody. So if we go for a run, I beat him. If he beats me, it's like oh, the biggest thing in the world. So um, yeah, I'll try my hardest and hopefully all good. Now speaking of people who have a big mouth, and Wayne Maxwell and uh, Josh Waters are going to be a pretty formidable team as well, aren't they? Oh, I'm not going to actually ride with Wayne. Oh, it's going to be Josh Brooks. So, <laughs> no, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm only joking. So, so, um, we should yeah, try Wayne, it again. But I'm, anyway, keep going. I'm really good mates with Wayne, oh, so um, it's going to be heaps of fun. And yeah, you know, him and Brooksy have done the done the six hour, or oh, eight hour, sorry. So um, it's going to be uh, really good fun. Well, mate, we're absolutely looking forward to seeing how you go. Are you going to do the running start? Because I can't see Gilesy doing it. It'll take him half an hour, wouldn't it, to get across the road? Oh, I'm going to use my Razor scooter, so they haven't they haven't ruled that out yet. But um, <laughs> now we're going to do spin, sprints later on and see. In the full letters. Yeah, full letters. You know, it's the Australian thing to do. Yeah.